Dog food and DCM. It's possible there's another link, but the AAFCO, they refuse to investigate it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Dilated cardiomyopathy or DCM, the FDA first reported a link between pet food and this disease about five years ago. There's been well over a thousand case reports. The FDA first linked it to grain-free dog food. It was linked to the pulses, peas, chickpeas, lentils, legumes. What is DCM or dilated cardiomyopathy? Well, first, let's look at a normal looking heart. Clearly, this is anatomically correct. You can see the four heart chambers. But what it's showing you is here's the normal thickened heart muscle wall. The heart's a big, strong muscle. It's pumping blood up to your dog's lungs and then throughout the rest of his body. But in DCM, that heart muscle wall, it becomes thin and floppy. It's no longer able to pump the blood throughout the body. In veterinary practice, it's typically seen as hereditary. We'd see it in the Dobermans, Boxers, Great Danes, Cocker Spaniels. But then DCM, it was being diagnosed in breeds where we'd never seen it before. That's called non-hereditary DCM, and that was the link with dog food. The risk to your dog is very small. Clearly, there's a small number of cases where we're looking at millions of dogs in the United States and Canada, you know, less than a few thousand reported cases. But it is happening, but the FDA is still yet able to determine the exact underlying cause. They're looking at a whole host of different causes, including taurine, etc. But a really simple one that Susan Thicks, to know the truth about pet food, Dr. Karen Becker have asked them to look into, they've refused to. The AAFCO, the Association of the American Feed Control Officials, they're regulating all pet food and specifically they're looking at nutrients that should be in that pet food to make the claim that it's complete and balanced. That's what it says on this bag of dog food here, 100% complete and balanced for health and vitality of adult dogs. But those calorie needs, they're only developed for the needs of an active dog. For example, this pretty active little 25 pound dog here, she should be getting about two and a half cups a day. But if she was inactive and I wanted to ensure that she wasn't gaining weight, I might be only feeding her one and a half cups, about a third less. And the problem here, if you're feeding your dog less food, they're getting far less nutrients. So how can you say that this food is complete and balanced? And what's really key here is there are multiple research papers showing that caloric restriction with dog food, it is linked to nutritional deficiencies. You're feeding your dog less of this supposed balanced food, they're gonna have far less available nutrients. The specific research has shown you can have less thymine, less magnesium, less selenium, less vitamin E. All of those nutrients, they've been linked to DCM in people and in our animals. One paper stated specifically the deficiency of two amino acids or two amino acid related compounds that can cause nutritional DCM. What they're suggesting is they want the FDA to revisit those case reports of dogs being diagnosed with DCM linked to diet and see were those dogs on a caloric restricted diet because it's quite possible they weren't getting all the nutrients that were needed to properly have a functioning heart. Could be that many of them were being fed a caloric restricted diet in terms of being fed less dog food, they were deficient in key nutrients, and that resulted in the development of DCM. To me, that makes great sense. And clearly that seems like a really common potential cause of DCM, something the FDA should be investigating. How can you ensure that your dog's heart doesn't go from this to this? Number one, just feed less kibble. And this is a brand I suggest that you never feed. Give your dog some variety. Try to incorporate something that's gonna have a whole lot of balanced amino acids. This is a great example of a dog food really high on all those amino acids that your dog needs to have normal heart function. And assuming you're still feeding your dog kibble, as I still feed Tula, add in nutrients that are gonna increase the nutritional value of that kibble. A great example of this is an egg. Eggs are really high in all those key amino acids that are critical for normal heart function. And then the last option is to supplement with ingredients that may be missing from your dog's diet. My supplement, Dr. Jones's Ultimate Canine Advanced Plus Health Formula, it has additional taurine, which may be beneficial in terms of preventing DCM. I'll put links in the description box to those studies. I'll put in links so you can contact the FDA. We as dog parents fully deserve to know like what is the true link between diet and DCM. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets of Dog Food and DCM. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, 
I can send you a copy of my free book.